Okay, you guys are always asking, oh, I wanna see. I want Meg to do her old stuff, what she used to do, a vlog. So here you go, this is gonna be a vlog. The reason I don't do vlogs anymore is because they're so boring and I do the same shit every day. I'm in front of a desk, like probably most of you, for like eight hours, sometimes 10 or 12. Dang, this light girl. But anyway, I'm home with mom and we're in Akron, Ohio. Say hey, Becca the male lady. Explain, we don't know her. <laughs> um, so we are going to do a vlog of training. When I was a kid, this used to be like the most ratchet house. Now it's an empty lot. It was, that was the trap house for sure. Anyway, um, so today we're gonna do we're gonna do some training. I'm gonna give you guys a look at my bodybuilding.com program that I've been working on. Um, the program is completely written and we've been tweaking it and I have been working on, I've been doing it. So I'm in week five of it. So you can see week five, day two of the program. So it's some bench, it's some deadlifts. You know, what have you guys been asking for? So yeah, I'll talk a little bit about my training. Um, I'm in Ohio because of the Arnold. We'll be at the Arnold with Strong Strong Friends and Strong Strong Supply. We're doing a tandem booth together. Um, of my two companies that I own. And we will be selling equipment, selling t-shirts. I'll be hanging out, I'll be there most of the time. So um, we'll be outside of the ex actual expo area by the weightlifting uh, competition because obviously we're selling weightlifting equipment. So that makes sense. Okay, we're off to the gym. We're in the one and only Goodyear Heights. You know some people, they be trying to act like they're actually from Akron, but they grew up in Talmadge. Let me tell you, I grew up right here in Goodyear Heights. What you got to say about that, Mom? Nothing to say. I'm about to get this guy behind his finger, though. Oh, you want to know why she's going to do that? Because she's one strong bitch. He's <laughs> crazy. Uh, that's okay. He's in a big hurry to go sit at this lake. Yep. Um, we, I made these one strong bitch stickers and also pocket t-shirts. And we'll be selling them at the Arnold. Uh, I've already posted them on Instagram. A ton of people were like, are you going to have them? Um, at the, See, are you gonna exactly. have them on a t-shirt or are you gonna have them online? So I believe yes, um, but it might not be for a little while. So if you're gonna be and in Columbus, at the light after <laughs> if you're gonna be in Columbus, make sure you come uh, get one of these. That is if you are one strong bitch, you know. When people describe me, they're like, yeah, it's Meg. You know, she's, that's one strong bitch. So I figure a lot of you guys get described in the same way. Ain't no shame being a bitch, honey. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mom? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> as long as you're a strong one. <laughs> yeah, don't be a weak bitch. No, that's an insult. All right, guys, we are off to the jam. <laughs> we are here at, this is the CrossFit gym that my mom goes to. Yes, girl, I got her into CrossFit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do it anymore, but my mom, she loves it. She's been doing the open. She freaking loves it. She's been doing it for a couple years. All of her friends are here. I'm so proud of her. But she thinks she's faster than me. So later on, while I'm here in Akron, so we go to Columbus and then we'll come back to Akron. While I'm here, I'm gonna race her. My mom used to be a track star. She went to like New Jersey State, like did quite well in high school, but she's like 50 years old. If I can't beat her now, then what's wrong with me? So anyway, she's been talking smack, talking about how she's gonna beat me. I mean, she's in shape, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I'm her daughter, I'm just as fast as her, I like to believe. Anyway, um, we are, I'm gonna do some bench, some deadlifts, let me just show you my plan right now. Oh yeah, by the way, um, this is not my, uh, I'm better at regular videos at doing like my standard intros. Hi, my name is Meg Glass. I'm a power lifter, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and if you like this video, any part of this video, please like it. If you do wanna see more vlogs, um, I may bring them back here and there, um, but honestly, like, just unless I'm traveling, training is just quite boring. So that's why I've been doing more series, like training like a pro, training like a spit, fit scope, just having more fun and like having more of a message with each video, more of a story there. I feel like it's 
it's cool to check in on training, but if there's not a story, then I don't want to tell anyone what happened, you know? Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. What are you gonna do? Oh, just whatever? Yeah. My program? Yeah, we do that until um, the workout. Okay. She's going to her CrossFit class at 4.30. They're doing all kinds of cardio stuff. Okay, let me find my, this is like the most beautiful thing, but try and just add some design elements. So, if you bullet journal, um, I'm gonna try and turn my training log into somewhat more of an organized bullet journal. I've actually switched the days uh, on my own, just how my split is right now, uh, skipping and like switching around workouts. So I've got push-ups as a primer, I do some bench, I've got some deadlift for some volume, and then I do a big giant set here of just like lower body uh, deadlift accessories. So, should be pretty fun. I work up to an RPE 9 for a set of 5 on my bench, so we'll see if my mom's going to be stronger than me on that, because her bench is like crushing, she's fucking crushing. And we already know, overhead press, she's already stronger than me. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. You're probably good at push-ups though. Let's see, what you got? Dang, you think you could beat me in a race running? Can't even do push-ups fast. <laughs> One thirty for mom. It's on there. Nice. Good job. How'd that feel? Good. Alright, I got a tip for you. You guys notice how she's, whenever the bar hits her chest and she's changing the direction of the barbell, she's pushing back with her legs. Try to keep that same initiation throughout on the way down too, like stay tight, keep squeezing your butt. You still want to have a little bit of that change of direction, but you could get more out of being tight on the descent too. So still, you're still pushing back on the descent, pushing back the weight into your shoulders so that you're stable. Um, so we'll try that on her next set. Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> It looked like maybe your butt was lifting off because you're trying to push so much. So that also helps keeping your butt tight and squeezing on the descent will make it so that you keep your butt on the bench throughout the entire movement, which we gotta do because she's a power lifting competitor. So we'll keep working on that with mom. All right, let's see how heavy I can go. 145, 150, 200. CrossFit in the crazy room. See ya, sucker! Thanks for the spot! Alright, my bad, it's really loud. Two by, uh, so I thought I was gonna hit 145, but your girl hit 150. Uh, so we're gonna do 2 by 7 minus 10%, which is 135. there at that weight I think I'm gonna stay at 300 um, just working up from last mesa cycle and we'll see how what I can push that to you four by four it's not a bad amount of volume and I do hit a heavy ish deadlift variation later on the week so I just got off my deload and I'm starting this new 
uh, next block of four weeks. So I don't want to like blow my load because I'm, I did that like a couple weeks ago. Um, so what I'm doing is just staying somewhat conservative so that later on in the week, maybe next week when I see a workout similar to this, either what I can do is jump up five pounds or jump up 10 pounds. So if I'm feeling really good and I don't like shoot out too far um, or assume that I can like, you know, if I took this for my core at max, which I do for my core, I'd be so gassed and it'd be really hard to recover for my sessions later on this week and also for my session next week when I meet this similar um, for my core again. So make sure when you have an RPE, you are keeping yourself honest. Um, it is really difficult to do, but just try to keep yourself disciplined and have your, set out your like four week goals and instead of getting you're in the way of this weight on week one or week four or five for me. I want to be excited about the weight on week eight when I'm all the way waved up and then I do that and then I do that. Okay? So that makes sense. Brand. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Okay, I'm going to do RDLs, goblet squats, windmills, and then I'm going to go do back extensions. Cause we are giant eagle about to get some noms. <laughs> okay, so my workout was pretty dope. Finished with my accessories, and I've been trying to push my heart accessories especially hard. The um, I, I feel like I tend to forget them, but since I'm working on this program, I wanted to, I programmed it so that your accessories are like the hardest part, but anywho. We are gonna get some food for tonight. We're gonna make some stove fries. And Ryan's not feeling good, so I'm gonna give him some medicine. And that's it. What do you got to say about it? Huh? What do you got to say? I don't have anything to say. <laughs> Watch out, he'll arrest you. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a return to the vlog, because you know my ass ain't gonna do it for a long time. Just kidding. Um, if you really, really like it, comment down below um, and maybe I'll consider doing that. Maybe I just need to be more creative with like what happens, but it is really hard for me because I'm telling you, like most of my days are just working in front of the computer. It's not that exciting, so I don't wanna bore you. I don't wanna make something that's gonna be boring for me to make, boring for you to watch. So, you know, I've been, whatever, doing whatever, whatever creative ideas that come to me. I think whenever, um, I mentioned this, whenever I do end up prepping for a meet, which will probably be nationals in October, I'll take you through, I'll do a full meet prep series. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do that. And I'll see you in the next one, girl. Also, if you're gonna be at the Arnold, we're gonna be at the Arnold. I'll put the booth number right here. It's gonna be outside of the expo by the weightlifting event. Okay, bye.